What's going on, movie fans? Welcome back to JBuck Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, we're closing out this Valentine's Day weekend. Um, yeah, I probably should have gotten this review out when it was actually date night, but I went out and saw the new romance movie, The Photograph. When a famed photographer dies unexpectedly, her daughter delves into her mother's early life, which is an investigation that leads to an unexpected romance with a rising journalist. So is The Photograph the go-to date night movie in theaters right now? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of The Photograph if you've already seen this film or you very much have it marked as date night on the calendar. Now let's get into some of the good. So yeah, I'm sort of a sappy, you know, I kind of lean towards romantic comedies, romance movies. For some reason, I really enjoy kind of just seeing happy people on the big screen. I don't know why. Um, so going into the photograph, I was kind of excited for this because, you know, it's love, it's romance, it's these two people that don't see eye to eye and then they come together. And I thought that this was a very well-crafted love story. I mean, obviously tackling people in current day and then flashbacks to the previous times to see how kind of their stories correlate, you know, relate, you know, the, the mistakes that maybe one timeline made that the other timeline needs to learn from. Um, I wouldn't say that this is any groundbreaking love story or whatnot, but I loved, I guess, the love aspects of this, which is so weird. I'm getting too sappy for this review. But yes, I thought it was a very well-crafted movie, but I think the main reason was because Lakeith Stanfield and Issa Rae as this couple that... Again, they meet in this unlikely situation, and then you see their relationship slowly grow. And there's a few roadblocks in the way, but I thought that their chemistry worked very well. For some reason, I'm watching Lakeith Stanfield, and this guy is so damn smooth in this movie, but he's also kind of like hunched over a little bit and kind of mumbling his words, but it just, it works for him as a character. And uh, Issa Rae playing off of him, she is endearing, she is funny, she is smiling. Again, they play very well off of each other so having the couple as the core part of the story really enhances that story aspect but also all of these other added factors into this movie i mean like i said it's endearing it's emotional it is funny um the the script or the dialogue between the two of them very endearing you know first dates you know it's a little awkward it's a little funny it's a little i don't know what to do but also one of the characters i believe it's lakeith stanfield's brother lil rel howry i believe um he was also in get out and a few other comedy movies but this guy every time he was on screen made me laugh made me smile he was very a nice added addition to this movie and again bumped up that comedic factor of the movie so again this is just an an endearing fun go-to date night movie in the theaters right now and I mean for the photograph it pretty much check marks all of the boxes you have for a romance a romantic comedy film I'm not saying that this is going to break the mold and this is the standard moving forward but man this hit all of the marks that were needed I will say that maybe the only negative or the little only tiny thing that I thought didn't entirely work is the current story with the past story i thought the current story was more intriguing but it would think it was because also there was more time spent towards that current story i mean this being about an hour 50 hour 45 i believe a majority of the time is in present day with flashes back so the story isn't entirely even but they weren't going for that that's not what their intent was i mean the, both the stories worked both of them the characters the portrayal everything in those stories worked it's just i maybe wanted a little bit more overall the photograph is your go-to romance romantic comedy February Valentine's Day movie. With it hitting all of the check boxes for this type of movie, it being endearing, funny, emotional, and great chemistry between Issa Rae and Lakeith Stanfield, but maybe wanting a little bit more of certain story aspects or story beats in this film. I'd recommend checking out the photograph. Again, I had a great time with this movie. I unfortunately went by myself. This is the go-to date movie in theaters right now. You know, get your significant other, go out, hold their hand, you know, share a popcorn, enjoy this movie movie for what it is. In closing, I'm going to give the photograph 3.5 out of 5 Chad Kroger's. 
So what did you guys think of the photograph? If you've already seen this film or now you have this marked down as the perfect date night movie, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there. Um, I didn't do an uh, ending explained poorly for Fantasy Island because I think that the filmmakers already did a fantastic job of horribly tearing that movie apart but i will be doing a couple of those for the boy and the boy 2 coming up with plenty more reviews on the jbuck studios channel follow all my social media like this video share this channel out subscribe and until next time we'll see you later